Hi there, this is Jamie, and as a mom who works and a wife, <laughs> things become a hot mess when it's seed starting time. I don't know about you, but things get a little crazy. We live here in Southeast Texas and it is middle of March and I will show you what I'm talking about. This. I don't know what I've started. Yes, we have chickens. I don't know what I've started, what has sprouted, what I need to sow, what I need to wait to sow, even though there's labels because this becomes a hot mess. So I'll show you what I'm trying this year. By the way, I have been growing and gardening and having house plants and all of that all my life. I was raised in my grandparents' garden. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to try to do to organize this. So I've got two of these bins. Cheap old bins. One, which is this one, I put the seeds that I have sown into but just because they're sown doesn't mean they germinate so that's where I have issues is going back and finding out what's germinated what needs to be re-sown and going through all of this and keeping it sorted or things that like this need to be re-sown or secession sown and then I have another bin just like this that I pull out all my seeds and put in that I want to plant and I'll organize them by either you know they need to be started in the seed tray or you need to run around the yard and plant them real quick when you have a few minutes or whatever it is in that way so now today I get the job of going through each of those plants and seeing what is germinated and what hasn't so I can pull all of this out and put it back in my to-do box. Let me know if you're interested in seeing the different things that I grow. Like I said, I've been growing a long time, but I am no pro. I still fail massively, especially with root vegetables that are cold weather these regular spinaches they just don't do very good around here um, so I will see what I can come up with and get back to you what I'm doing is I'm grab a handful out of the ones that I know I have put to germinate and then I go through all these labels and see who's actually germinated and then if they've germinated they go back in the sewn box if they haven't but I still want to give them some more time I'm putting them in this baggie that says re -sew. that way I know I might have to re-sew them and then I'm going to put them back in this box of things to sew or to re-sew and as you can see, I'm about halfway through. And I have way more in here than I do in here. So that's really good. And I think this will be a helpful method to tame the madness. Okay, so these are ones that I haven't planted that long ago in a different part of the yard. So I'm gonna hold off on actually sorting those these are ones in my bed. Most of that is pretty much if it hasn't grown by now. Might have time for like the collard greens to replant them. And then these are ones that I have on my fridge at the moment. Quite a bit of the ones I have out here on the table are going to have to go inside the next few nights because even though we've been having an incredibly warm spring, we've had a little bit of a cold snap and we're going to be dipping down into the 40s and going through all of these i found all of these were never planted 
and I, I don't understand. Don't don't mind my fingers. I've been up potting, but they look like they've been open, but I don't see them anywhere. Again, hot mess here. I feel like I've done it, but I don't know where they are. They should be with all my other seeds. So, off to do some searching, find out what I actually did with these. And then I will take you through and show you the seed trays and give you a little readout on what I'm actually growing this year. Okay, so I found out what I did with all of these. They are actually in the tray with these two on top of my refrigerator already because they are not going to like this cold front. I just didn't know what all I had in that tray up there. This is why I have to go through and do this. And some of those are just starting to sprout. So I'm in a conundrum. I don't have a lot of space inside for them to get light. So I'll have to pull everything out in the morning put everything up at night so they can keep getting the light. Wow. Okay, with all that done, I've got all of these that have germinated or are growing well. These I need to check through later. And then these are either succession sow or I'm still waiting to see if they will come up. All right, now for a tray tour. Tray, we have Black Beauty eggplant, San Marzano tomatoes, orange Turkish eggplant, Casper eggplant, early girl tomato, big rainbow tomato, Aswanda or Aswand eggplant, Jimmy Nardell peppers. I've never grown either of those. I've never successfully grown these. Um, sweet lemon dream peppers, Casilla Bahio, never grown that before, purple bell peppers, California Wonder, and that's about it. So they all look like they're doing really good. I just up potted them and I'm giving them some liquid fertilizer to soak up before they have to go inside for tonight. This tray I just did today, that's Roselle Hibiscus, Tamarin, both I have grown successfully. I actually have a bunch of this de dried out in my cabinet. We make a lovely tea out of it. This grew, but the freeze killed it. Red Malbar spinach, lovely, works well here for us for spinach because it gets so hot. Moon and Stars watermelon and canary melon this was a family favorite last year this is a tryout and i've never tr transplanted watermelon so i don't know how that works alaskan nasturtium those seeds are old so who knows if they're going to germinate strawberry spinach i've never successfully done egyptian spinach does really good here new zealand spinach is new to me and then i'm southern so i grow a lot of okra and that is Texas Longhorn Okra. On to this one. Don't have a lot of hope for these two. Purple Prince Chili Mild Jalapeno. They probably should have germed by now. Surprising, but both dill varieties, dill bouquet and ducat dill, have both germinated quite well. These are ground cherries. And all of these are just to see from the first tray if any of these decide to germinate. Same things with these back here. Oh, except for that. That's some green tomatillos and a long purple eggplant. I wanted to let get a little bit bigger. The blueberry tomatoes here don't look like they're coming up too well. And then these, I'm saving to transplant later. Here I have Lovage, which is doing nothing. Hyacinth, which is doing fantastic. Genovese basil. Um, this is the toothache plant. Black eyed Susan. Mexican mint marigold. Never had that before. Spotted bee balm. Chicory. Black hollyhock. Hollyhock. I don't know. 
cumin, purple basil, crackerjack marigolds, big Italy parsley, triple curl parsley, or ain't doing jack. Sweet basil is doing amazing. I love me some Thai basil, even though I hate licorice. Don't know how that works. Trying celery again because I planted it and then I filled my bed over it because I couldn't be bothered. Bunching onions never do crap for me. So I'm trying them again. Trying lime basil and lemon mint for the first time. And trying to get some sparky marigolds going. They look like they're doing decent-ish. So that's it for today. If you've successfully grown anything in my area that I've shown you today, please let me know and uh, tell me how it worked out, what you did, things like that. Or if I'm growing something that you did crap on, I'd be happy to tell you what I do to make it successful if I've grown it before. I do a lot of testing and trial and error, and if it shouldn't grow, I'll still try to grow it. But uh, on to the next time. See you later. Bye.